I am lining up the FCP Euro packages, and if you can't tell, we got a lot of goodies for this car. And oh my god, I cannot be more excited to start talking about it. The 128i is going to be getting all of the summer maintenance that it could possibly need. And if you have bought one of these N52s that has high mileage like mine does, it's going to be every single bit of maintenance that you're going to need for this car. And I can't wait to get to it. I got plugs, I got coils, I got oil leak fixes, I got belts, I got tensioners, and I got oil. I got full liquid moly oil changes, which is absolutely awesome. And uh, even after all of that stuff, I have a brand new valve cover for this car. It's kind of an insane purchase. It's not something I have ever done. Let's buy a brand new valve cover. Yeah, for having a plastic valve cover, uh, I could have only assumed that this thing would be going out, so I decided to get it. This is the service that is going into the car. We have a whole new set of coils, a whole new set of plugs. Don't even know what this thing is, but I'm sure I'm going to have to figure it out. Sorry, E30, nothing for you today. Coil packs are coming out. Old coils, bam. Every bolt removed from the outside of the valve cover, as you can see. All the couple difficult ones to remove, just to note, are the few in the back there. You gotta remove a PCB hose, make it a little difficult for yourself. But now here we go. Six and a half hours later. Unfortunately, I didn't end up taking that valve cover right off like I said I would, but I need a better E8 or E-Torx 8. I don't really know what to call those, but other than that, these parts are pretty easy to take apart. And then once the valve cover is off, it'll be smooth sailing. Boink. I have a Tronic thing out. I don't know why I call it Tronic. Up, up and away this thing. God, guys, every time, bro. Every time. I One eternity later. Oh, and it's out. Look at that. So easy. No struggle. The stud is. The amount of corrosion and oil and bullshit. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah, that's gross. That is gross. All right. So, unfortunately, like I just showed you guys, I have a very, very stripped stud in there. It'll be smooth sailing. But fortunately, I got some sort of weird tool that I'm gonna try to use to take it out. I have absolutely no idea if this is gonna work yet. I have no idea if I am wasting my time. But I got a stud extractor from frickin' O'Reilly's. This might be completely depressing and not what I need. But we're gonna give it a shot. So I'm gonna give this thing a final spray with some of this PV blaster. And we're gonna get our tools back in order to get this thing going. I don't know how I feel about this one but I am pretty dang sure that, oh, that I'm not gonna have a good time. <laughs> this just feels like a mistake. All right, here comes an attempt. No, it snapped it. It fucking snapped it. It'll be smooth sailing. Oh my God. All right, so. Valve cover is off and I, I messed it up even more. I broke that thing even harder. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna leave it snapped and hope that only a little bit of oil leaks out. So, okay, Samuel's making fun of me, but while he makes fun of me more, we're gonna work on getting the <laughs> oil filter housing gasket replaced. Bro just told me that this is called the Mickey Mouse flange. And when I take it out, it is gonna blow up in my fingers. So, We've already purchased a part on Amazon, surprisingly enough, that it'll come tomorrow that is an aluminum version of that that Mr. Samuel told me about. So, who knows where this guy is fucking getting this information from, but it's hopefully it works. <laughs> oh god, so now I'm gonna try to take it out. Let's go. I broke Mickey Mouse. <laughs> it, it, oh well, oh yeah, wait, yeah, no, that broke. Oh, that broke. At first I thought I saved it and just the hose came out from the thing, but no. Yeah, they, they don't break like that. There's a lot <laughs> left over inside. <laughs> it's uh, gonna need a little pick tool, that's for sure. <laughs> been there, done that. And as you can see, Mickey Mouse has been, has seen better days, that's for sure. So good on Samuel for catching that and having a new part ready to be replaced for me. That is pretty legendary was just able to loosen the belt's tensioner right here. Gotta get that Torx in there, like that. Big old Torx. 
think we're talking about a T60. Gets right up in there and oh, once it's nice and tight, loosens the tension on that guy. That allows for your belt to come right the heck up. And just like that, we got the belt out, new tensioner, new pulley. And we're gonna go ahead and get this oil filter housing oh, removed. It's probably gonna be kind of gross because it does have this coolant line attached to it. Oh, look at that, it's dry. Oh, that is good stuff. So I have finished up installing my oh, oil filter housing gasket. A new sensor here, which I'm pretty sure is for oil temp or pressure or something like that. I think it's pressure, that would make more sense. Valve cover all cleaned up, installed there, pulleys installed, new belt is in there. Have some new studs installed on here. And tomorrow I'm gonna be finishing it up with these oil packs that I have here as well as finalizing putting on my new valve cover gasket. But ran out of daylight today. I'm gonna have to get packed up right now and unfortunately did not get as much done as I wanted to. But with the few little things that broke, I think that we're gonna be perfectly set. Also waiting on my little Mickey Mouse adapter that'll fit in there, thanks to Samuel. So we're gonna be finishing this guy tomorrow and then can't wait to take it for a drive and see how much better it is after this maintenance. Catch you and it is the next morning. I don't think I have any storage, but I'm going ahead and trying to repair the damaged stud from yesterday. Absolutely stripped, and I'm gonna be making the best of it. I got a drill bit, I got some extractor bits, and I'm gonna see if I can extract that thing. Remove this absolutely destroyed stud. I've been tapping this stud extractor. Twist with more, more motion, you know? Two thousand years later. Sorry for the lag on that, guys, but oh my god. I trapped, tapped, and drilled a hole. Oh my lord. So now I need to go deal with some more broken parts that we are discovering throughout this process, such as this PCV hose. So, fixing more things, breaking more things, doing it exactly how I expected to do it. So, getting this thing sorted, and I'll be back on it in a second. All right, now I'm gonna be removing all the old spark plugs, putting in my new coil pack as well as my new plugs. And now, I have got the infamous Mickey Mouse replacement. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Is it wrong? Oh, it's right, it's right. Oh my God, why does it look so wrong? Oh my God, I just had a panic attack. All right, infamous Mickey Mouse piece. As you can see, mine shattered. As you can see, this one is a lot better. And metal, and so hopefully that won't happen again. Let's get that bad boy installed. I'm trying to line up this fresh valve cover. Like I said, I've never bought a fresh valve cover for any part of that run. This is an exciting moment. That's pretty smooth. That is pretty smooth. All right, now I'm basically just gonna wait and see if it leaks any coolant, see if it leaks any oil, or see if it freaking shuts off or something, I don't know. <laughs> all right, we are all running all good. Looking good there, no oil coming out. The car is back on the ground rocking, and I am about to go give it a little bit of a drive. I'm a little nervous, but I'm also pretty freaking excited. Oh, super, super excited because all these FCP Euro parts that I have now installed are going to be making a wonderful difference on how this thing drives, especially when I want to tune it, when I want to change the exhaust, when I want to do everything else with this car, including driving it for as long as I can. These were the upgrades that were necessary. So I'm just going to go drive it up and down my street, see, see if it feels a little peppier, you know, basically a brand new ignition system. Oh my God, even on just a slight little acceleration, it feels a little peppier, feels a little happier, feels less stuttery than it did before. I feel like maybe I had a little bit of a, a little bit of a lag on power when I would try to put it down. And now that is all changed. Second gear, nice and smooth. God, this thing feels pretty dang good. All in all, this thing is running like an absolute dream. And now that I don't have to worry about those oil leaks and those small maintenance projects, I can be much more happy with this thing.
and I don't have to deal with that absolutely destroyed stud anymore and I'm glad I got that handled too. I'm gonna take this thing on a little bit of a better drive later today. For now I'm gonna let it sit. Now that it's gotten all the way hot, I'm gonna let it cool down all the way, do a full cycle, warm it up one more time and see if I have any leaks or anything like that. I've cleaned out everything underneath the car, so luckily I should be pretty good on detecting where the oil's coming from. And yeah, I just could not be more happy with how those parts went. Next comes even more FCP Euro love for this thing, as well as some coilovers, some more performance upgrades, and just tons more things coming down the road. This car is just getting better and better every single time I touch it, and I cannot be more happy about that. Even though I keep getting stuck in the dumbest little ways when it comes to strip bolts or corrosion in all sorts of places. If you haven't watched my last couple videos of this car, every time I've tried to do some service, I have ran into some sort of major problem that has just stopped me in a major way. But we always prevail. I always get through it. And every single time that I feel like it is the end of the world and I'm absolutely stuck, I just got to keep on pushing because every single time it turns out exactly like this and my car ends up running beautifully. So this car has definitely seen a little bit more corrosion and I don't even know, maybe just liquid in its life than I was ever knowing before. But hey, the more I do, the better this car gets. So it's just going to keep on improving. Sorry for ranting for so long. Get some more driving clips a little bit later, and I'll catch you in a bit. Peace. Damn. I don't know why I didn't film any of that, but something did go wrong. I hadn't put the under tray on the car because I didn't think it mattered too much yet just for the short test drive, but turns out it does matter because it secures the rear under tray to the car. And that thing came loose and was going da, 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 under the car. So got it handled now, buttoned up the whole under tray in there. So I'm feeling good about it now. And we're back on the road. <laughs> Peace. I'll let you guys know how it drives. I broke my two nails. <laughs> no, it snapped it. It fucking snapped it. All right, infamous Mickey Mouse. Sorry, you nothing for you today.